up and running, yeah? Praise God, yeah? You know, it's Web Rock Cargo Wednesday. Yeah, man, so going through the news today, running across an article about AI, artificial intelligence. Listen to me, yeah, man. Call me old, call me old school, but I'm I'm really not for it. I'm not into it because I see what it does. Artificial intelligence, um, automation. These things are not good for the human being, especially the working class. And for all those who think them super mega rich and it can't affect them because I'm already rich, if you have to wake up every morning and punch in that clock, or you have to wake up every day and make sure say so you do something for put food on that table, you are working class. No matter how much money you make. If you're making a million a year and you're spending a million a year and you need for work for maintain the girl shan, guess what? Working class. So me see it, right? Now you might be at your job and thinking, oh no, Johnny, you're wrong. Automation is great. What used to take me a whole day, thanks to automation, I do it half a day now. Yeah, that's nice. Go on till the machine take over your job, yeah? You remember, if you live in South Florida, I don't know if you remember, they used to have these, these things called toll boots. Toll boots. One day, some pastors decide for automate that you know how much people lose them job. So, play with that. Even my job. The, go, the only reason why I don't really worry that much about automation is because at the end of the day, I'm a hustler. So what I'll do, if, if the computer take away my job, I will start to sell the computer them and take away everybody's job. Don't play with me. I'm here to show you the way and tell you what I'm going. What if you don't want to believe? You don't want to stand up and fight? You don't stand up and fight. Because the TV make everybody so calm and docile. Back in the day, there, there was not even a protest when the toll booth people lose their job. There was no big uproar. So much people lose them job and no big uproar. I was crazy. I couldn't believe it. And then you have what I like to refer to as the lifers. The people who give them a whole life to a company and think, oh no, they'll take care of me. No, buddy. Your boss, everybody, they're in this to make this money. The company is there to make a profit. So when it comes time to let you go and make more money, they're going to let you go. It's just what it, it is what it is. Unless your boss own, who owns the company is your daddy not even your uncle your uncle will let you go but your daddy might not let you go might not he might let you go and just put you on allowance which is not necessarily a bad thing i know here's the thing most people because i'm different i'm strange most people not built like me so you can't you're not resilient you focus on one thing and you're stuck in one thing right i'm not no wrong with that that's how the system trained you but what is the plan when they take away all these jobs like i have i have never heard a politician or nobody with a platform with a plan after automation post automation post ai artificial intelligence when it goes mainstream like really mainstream like in the movies terminator um i robot or whatever those are the scenarios that will happen there is no good outcome so much people out of job out of work Government not going to give all of them people a sustainable living. You know what I'm saying? Because like if you work, um, let's say you work on the phones. You work on the phones. You work a phone job. You make 8000 a year. Computer come and take away your job. The government is not going to subsidize your life 8000 a year. So what's going to happen? What are you going to do? What's the plan? So while real issues like this is going on, automation that going to affect everybody, AI that going to affect everybody. What them talking about? This damn wall. Everybody are talking about this wall. Man. But I only tell you know this for make sure so you're mentally prepared. Those in the workforce. If you... Between... If you're, if you're up to, let's say, 45. Yeah, man. Start pre things and figure out what you're going to do. The reason why I say 45 is because more than likely you'll be affected. If you're 50 right now, by the time these things go mainstream, you should be retired. Or you need to start planning your retirement. How about that? You already know we everybody a great money day. Yeah? You have a great money day.